What is up guys, this is Slayer. I'm bringing you guys uh, this Tarkov video. It's going to be a guide for what I believe to be one of the most effective and best ways to uh, make money in an escape from Tarkov. Now, I, this isn't going to be any like super, you know, advanced guide or, 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 or any crazy thing. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you, you know, you know, months of, uh, of loot, you know, months of data or anything like that. But I, I just want to share with you guys that I, that I think running nighttime shoreline, and this is nighttime, yes, it is day, but, you know, nighttime, you know what I mean, uh, with the right keys, is it's by far, in my opinion, I think the most broken way to make money. The amount of money and loot you can come out with is just insane doing these runs. And now the most effective thing about this run is it's time. So you want to try to make the best time per run. So keep, try to keep your runs 15 to 20 minutes, you know, prioritize higher tier loot spawns. Don't go for duffel bags and stuff. If you want to, you can, but that you just know that uh, that's going to slow everything down and it's just going to lower, you know, the overall effectiveness of this money run. Now I'll display a list of the keys that I take on this money run uh, on the screen. So you can go ahead and pause the video. Or you can go in the description and I have I will have my form posts uh, linked in the description where you can go there and read and see the list of keys there. But usually what I do first, and it really depends on the spawn, obviously as I got a spawn closer to uh, West Wing, so I will be looting West Wing first, but usually I've been looting East Wing first because even though there's more key card spawns on this wing, I, I, I really like just trying to snatch those LEDXs. So first, before anything, I leave the first floor for last, even even if I spawn that way, and I immediately go to the basement to check for red keycard. Now here is where you can find red keycard, I've been lucky to get it once this way, but it's an extremely rare spawn, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it. Now next, I run straight upstairs all the way to the third floor and immediately run uh, loop 301 to try to get a... The DX spawn went the wrong way there for a sec. Whoops. And right here, you can loot everything here. Sometimes LDX spawns up here. I don't know if it spawns on the rug, but make sure you just check because sometimes loot spawns under the rug so you can't actually see it. And when you run into this room, there's an LDX spawn on this side of the table to the left. Or on this side of the table to the right as well as you know possible med spawns on the table and on the bed and you can go ahead and loot the pcs if you want you might have a chance to get a graphic card next i'm going to run to the drop down over here to drop down to the second floor but i always like checking this room right here no one really checks this i don't think but there's a chance to get a a single ammo spawn and if you get lucky, you know, you might get a stack of like 60 or close to 60 M995 or M993, you know, some really good ammo that can sell for a good amount. And it, that just takes one second. And once I drop down here, I loot all the second floor rooms. On uh, 216, you can check the ammo, check for meds. And I usually loot just like one weapon box to uh, save on time. And I just proceed. Now 219 is completely optional because honestly I'm, this room kind of sucks so if you want to skip this room to make your run quicker then by all means do so. You can get lucky and get some med spawns here like maybe like two or three stims if you're really lucky but usually there's just like one IFAC or a Salawa here. Now 220 is definitely the room to have here. I get a lot of golden stars and med spawns. Golden stars sell for like 80 to 90k in the flea market, so they're really good to grab. So make sure you check all of this. And make sure you check this box for treasure spawns. You can get teapots, clocks, bases, you know, all that sort of stuff. And now as long as you have one, either 221, 222, or 220. I have 222, so I'll be unlocking this one. This is a red key card spawn. And you can also look on this table, there's usually some good meds, so that's definitely worth looting right here. And right over here, in 220, the keycard spawns on the table right here. 
You can also check on the barrel, but I think the table's the only spawn. And now, once I'm finished looting the second floor, I come over here, and I head straight down to the first floor, and proceed with looting the first floor rooms. The so 1 to 4 has a possible blue keycard spawn, and also on these medical shelves, there's med spawns, as well as a very rare and possible LDX spawn on any of these shelves. And blue keycard spawns right here. So make sure you look thoroughly. Next, we're going to loot 112, which is yet another blue keycard spawn. And as soon as you go in by the TV, the blue keycard spawns right there. You can look behind the TV to make sure it's not there, but it spawns right here on this side. And there's two duffel bags and some hydration and energy spawns. Then I usually run through this little closet right here and quickly loot it. As you as you can get some uh, really good stuff here. Metal cutting scissors, so for a good amount of bolts. And you can get green gunpowders, red gunpowders. And then I loot 205, which is yet another red keycard spawn. And med spawn, too. So meds spawn here, 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 and of course in there. And then as soon as you go to the connecting room, under the bed right here, there's a red keycard spawn on top of that newspaper. As well as more possible med spawns around this table. Then what I, what I like to do is from this wing, I loot admin I, instead of going straight to the other wing. So I take a detour and I go to admin. And assuming it hasn't been hit, uh, you get to loot it all for yourself. So I first check down here in this medical cart. And there's a possible LEDX spawn there. As well as any other medical item. And then after running upstairs... I usually uh, search the right side of this admin first. And I go straight to this safe. And this is where you would need the two admin keys, the two safe keys that I uh, showed in the picture earlier. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the description and make sure you see the keys. Not these saves aren't always going to be, you know, the best, but Sometimes they can get you some pretty good stuff, bitcoins, you know, it's definitely worth checking. There's a key spawn there, but honestly this room isn't really worth checking all that much, so you can go ahead and skip that if you want to add a little bit more time to your runs. I usually search this duffel bag, but you can skip that. And if you want to search the computer room and search all of these computers, obviously that would take some time, but you might get lucky and get some flash drives and some uh, graphic cards. But you should do that at your own discretion because these are this is a really open room and if there are players and if you know that you're not alone you're not in a dead raid then i would advise you skipping doing that because you might get shot from any of those windows now on the left side of admin you can go here and i usually just loot this pc Ooh. Then I loot this room first, which you can have a Tetris spawn. Just look all around here, up there, and on the table. This tet uh, Tetris and graphic cards can spawn, as well as there's a computer that I usually loot, and this second safe. And now, this is the golden grail of admin. The biggest possibilities, the biggest, biggest profit. Sometimes when you go in here, just make sure you check all these shelves as you can get graphic cards, Tetris's, pretty good stuff. And also search this computer to get an extra chance of getting a graphic card. And make sure you go to this table and you look under this as red key card has a chance of spawning right here. Now that we're done with admin, I go ahead to the computer room and drop down and proceed to go to East Wing. Now something I should mention before continuing is if you get a good spawn and you're here first before anyone else, before going into any of the buildings, make sure to come up to this ambulance right here and check the back as there's a really rare uh, LDX spawn right here. And then there's also a really rare blue keycard spawn on the sidestep of the passenger side door right here. All right, now we're gonna go back to East. And for East, first, I think you guys already assume what I'm going to be hitting up first. I'm gonna go straight to tape room, you know, clear everything out, 
be careful for Sandy and his goons. And I'm gonna go ahead and loot tape him. And in the bathroom, there's a lot of med spawns around the floor and inside the shower. And all of them could be possible LEDX spawns. So make sure you look thoroughly before leaving. Also look right here on the floor and on this table as I found an LEDX on this table and on the floor right here. And if you want to search this PC for a, gra a graphic card chance, you can absolutely do so. And I usually search this suitcase because it technically has a chance to spawn an LEDX and any other rare loot. But if you do want to go ahead and skip that, you absolutely can. Now, here's 107, which I personally forget to check on most of my runs. But this is a really good room. Once you go in and you go into this first door, this is a really good spot for graphic cards and other rare stuff like 1G phones, rare toss picks. This high quality loot. And you can check all around this for any other high tier medical loot. But usually, that, that is the highlight of the room, just these two spawns. Now we're going to go sh down the hall and straight upstairs. And we're going to hit 226 up. Or, of course, 225, right? Oh, I'm stupid. 222 or 226. They both connect, so it doesn't really matter which one you have. But as soon as you come in 226, behind, if you close it, behind the 226 door, there's this shelf. And a lot of medical items spawn along the shelves and in here. As well as possible LEDX chances. So make sure you look thoroughly. If you run into the 222 room, right here on this table, there are many graphic card and Tetris spawn, just like this one. And in the box in, outside of the bathroom, there is a treasure spawn. So you can get lions, bitcoins, vases, etc. Now, another thing that I usually forget to do that I would advise you should do is after you finish doing 226, before you continue, Run down the hall and enter 218, which is another red key card spawn. And in here, on this blood next to the laptop or on this barrel, make sure you check both. There's a red key card spawn. Now we're done. We're pretty much done with uh, the second floor of this. But uh, before I go to the floor, I like checking this room to 28. It's open because it just has a quick computer to search. So you never know if you can get another graphic card. Now run upstairs and either have a uh, key 328 or the utility closet key, which connects to 328. I recommend having this key because this opens other doors too while 328 only opens 328. And here you can get some good tech spawns like LCDs, graphic cards, and Tetrises, as well as in the computer, of course. Now I know that you shouldn't search duffel bags and to make the money run quicker but i have found that this duffel bag right here usually honestly has really good loot for me i don't know why but i usually check it and also just quickly check this table next to the bedside as you can get some nice scopes and uh gun parts next we're gonna run down the hall and the first thing we're gonna check is 321 which is marked room or piggy room whatever you want to call this and check along the floor right here for any treasure spawns like pro kills big coins gold chains check on his ears for gold chains and of course search him as you can get pretty much any item in the game with the exception of a few items so there is a chance of getting a full final raid slick here and that sells for like 700 k that will definitely make your raid now the first room I loot now is 316, which is just a weapon room entirely. This is a bunch of weapon mods and it's not consistent, so it's usually not amazing, but I think it's definitely worth checking just in case you get a few of those meta gun parts that sell for like 80 or 100k in the flea market. Now I do have 313, but I usually skip this so you can do so too, because I feel that this room isn't really all that good. I believe an LEDX can spawn up here, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. It's a weapon box, a medical bag, as well as some weapon spawns here. And now we're going to loot 310, which is a treasure room. Now this room, check th this table for any... uh treasure spawns check this table for treasure spawns and you can also search these two duffel bags 
Unless you want to really speed up your raid, I suggest searching these duffel bags because they can usually have some a few extra good stuff for you. But you know, RNG RNG Jesus. Now next I run over here and I open 306. And this is a computer room and it has four PCs for you to loot as well as a treasure spawn. So you can go ahead and search all these PCs for potential flash drives, graphic cards, and SSDs as they have been spawning in computers much more frequently lately and they sell straight to Peacekeeper for over a hundred US dollars. And then check inside here in this open cabinet for a gold chain and treasure spawn and on the bed. Now next I run downstairs and then I go to the second floor and just make sure it's clear make sure no one's camping at the end there's no way to be sure but this is a little risky and open 205 now this room has a treasure spawn right here uh, in the cabinet on top of the bed so jump up on the bed and make sure to look everywhere and you can also search the stuff back medical spawn and in the connected room there are three weapon boxes as well as a med spawn right here on this bag not this bag, this box, what the fuck? We came to this raid at, uh, what was it, 45 or 49? Now it's 50, and now it's 33. Now we were pretty much completed the money run. So look at that loot. It might not be anything insane, but that's decent loot for a little over 15 minute raid. And now we're gonna head to Rock Passage and Assuming Rock Passage is there, that will definitely uh, decrease your raid time. You can just extract and re rinse and repeat this process. Now, something I should also say is um, if you want to make a, a little slightly more consistent money, then I suggest uh, trying to loot uh, East Wing first every single time you do this run, as East Wing will have the higher chance to give you quicker loot like graphic cards LEDXs and stuff like that while West Wing has has kind of less loot but it has a higher sh but it has a, a lot of chances to get really good uh, key card spawns and obviously if you get you know a blue key card you can sell that for 8 mil and if you get a red key card then you're you're already rich you can stop money running and of course rock passage isn't here fuck you Nikita but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a really long time in the making. Well, not in the making. Uh, I've just been, you know, trying to get off my lazy ass. And I finally did it now, today. So, you know, yeah. I really hope this uh, helped a few of you guys. And if it did, please feel free to uh, snipe that subscribe button as it really helps push the channel forward and motivates me to get off my lazy fucking ass and make more guys and more videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.